So it's, it's no secret that diversity and inclusion are incredibly important to businesses. Uh, for us here at Snag a Job, it's really making sure that our employers have a diverse slate of candidates to choose from. It's making sure that our workers have a list of inclusive employers for them that they can pick from. And for us as employers, it's really important to make sure we're paying attention to all of these things for us. That really starts with our interview process. And there's five things that we look at when someone comes in to interview for a position here at Snag Job to make sure we are creating the most inclusive experience possible. And that really starts with how we're looking at what it is that we need to hire. It's very easy for us, probably like most other employers, to look at a job description we already have on file and say, yeah, this is great, we'll just post this again. Well, really it's not. What we want to make sure that we're doing now is thinking about what we actually need for the job. Do we need a degree? Do we need this much experience? What are the skills that are truly important for this versus what it is that we can teach? What we have found then is it opens our positions up to a much more diverse slate of candidates. Then, once we have that internal job description done, how do we advertise for it? The way we talk about these positions externally is incredibly important. We want to make sure that we are not unintentionally using gendered language or using words that are sharp or that are going to be uh, discouraging for people to apply. We want to make sure the description isn't too long. We want to make sure that we are uh, being very forthright and saying we welcome all identities and all perspectives to apply for this position. And then, when someone comes in for the interview, we want to make sure that they are having the best possible experience. How are we making sure that we are creating a, cr a truly inclusive interview? One of the things that we have made a real focus on doing is, is making sure that we are bringing in people from all over the organization when we do interviews. So if we bring in an engineer, they're not just meeting engineers, they're meeting people from product, they're meeting people from marketing. We want them to have a fully a diverse perspective on what it's truly like to work here and the work it is that we do. And then that carries into when we're making the selection process. When we sit down with the hiring managers and the team, we go back to that very first job description that we discussed to make sure that we are assessing candidates on the criteria that we've already settled on. We have thorough interview processes. We document everything and we're asking candidates the same questions. So we have a very clear slate of information when we're making this decision. So we can make sure that we're not being unintentionally biased and hiring someone that has the same background that this engineer came from or that was a referral from this person or went to the same college as the hiring manager. And then finally, once the interviews are done and we've selected the candidate and made them an offer and they've accepted, we send a survey out to everyone that interviewed for that position, whether or not they were selected. We want to make sure that we have feedback on how people felt when they came in to interview for us. If one group feels great but another group doesn't, then we know we've got a problem. And The thing I love about this idea is it was actually suggested by someone internally who had a not great interview experience. And If we have someone here that was already not feeling great, we definitely didn't want that to echo into someone we're bringing in from the outside. So we've made tons of changes based on that feedback and now feel really great about our process.